the emergence of this novel uh, COVID-19 virus was something that the scientific community was grappling with. Early on, we, we realized that there was no way we could round up everyone for testing. But you probably remember the first thing that disappeared from store shelves were toilet papers. It just dawned on us that everyone who's infected is going to shed the virus or bacteria, whatever it is, in the feces. Not everyone takes a test when they have COVID or even realize they have COVID, but they all go to the bathroom and that all comes to our, our sewage treatment plant. We partnered with Santa Clara County right away at the beginning of the pandemic and we were working with the wastewater treatment plant in San Jose. And we had collected samples almost every day or three times a week. It was very exciting, uh, but it was also a point in history where we felt like, okay, this is the beginning of something pretty big that none of us have actually anticipated and we didn't know what we were heading into. So several of us got together, you know, and, and just had these discussions about whether or not we wanted to pursue it. And, you know, lo and behold, we did. We said, wow, this holds a lot of real promise. And so we started this project to see if it could be useful. And we found to our surprise that the concentrations of the virus in wastewater correlated really well with case data from the county. I could tell right away that the concentrations were going up and down the way that I knew that the case data went up and down. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is actually gonna work. I think it was a small way of, for us to contribute to the community. You know, this information is so important to inform public health responses. Our mission here is that to begin with is to provide wastewater treatment uh, to protect the environment and uh, public health. And I remember telling um, Carrie, our director at that time, and Carrie was like, whoa, I didn't know that you had this background. I said, yes, I'm, I'm providing, uh, I, I can be of any help if you need me to help. And that's when I decided that uh, this would be something to bring to our lab at the forefront. And since then it's been, um, there's no looking back. So I think one of the famous saying is, the poop don't lie. This is a really useful tool. But if you would have told me that three years ago, I would have never ever believed you because we were starting something that was brand new, you know, that really we didn't know how effective it was going to be. And here we are three years later, you know, where uh, so many people across the state and the country are looking to wastewater. I think it's just fantastic. We realize now that if we can keep this ongoing and the partnership that we have with public health, that this will help us in the long haul when there's other viruses or pathogens that are coming down the pipeline. And we know that this is just the start.